Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I have something different that I'm really excited about. Uh, I am unboxing slash unbagging a stamped cross stitch uh, that I got off of AliExpress off of the Tianzi Huawei store. I will put the name of the store down below. This is this cross stitch is available in a couple different stores, but um, I'm really excited because it's really pretty. So there you have it. It is a um, peacock uh, cross stitch, uh, eleven count, sixty nine by one twenty four centimeters. Um, so that's a really, wow, that's a big size. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's huge. Um, I like, okay, so this packaging that it comes in is pretty nice compared to, um, some of the other cross stitches I've gotten. And then there's a few needles and this is a needle threader. And this is one is really nice because... That's going to be a lot harder to break than um, a traditional kind of needle threader. Um, and we have, so this is the booklet. It's got 21 pages, so that just, <laughs> when it comes in a book, you know it's going to be big. Um, and the pages are numbered, and this is just nice for... If some of the stamping comes up, like if you accidentally get it wet or um, it's hard to distinguish between different symbols, which can happen on a stamped canvas. Um, so this is just nice for reference for if you do need to do any counting. It's also nice for if you do end up ever wanting to recreate the pattern you have this right here so you can just buy a blank um, cross stitch canvas and the uh, floss for it um, so it has 47 colors and the symbols here with the for the dmc's are going to be different than the symbols on the actual cross stitch so Let's open this up. So these threads are advertised as silk. They're not actually silk. They're probably more like a polyester kind of a blend. They are still cotton. They're just made differently. Um, but they are really, really shiny. Wow, look at those colors. Those are so pretty. So these are all extras skeins of colors that are on the cards, um, which I will show you. They are beautiful. Sorry, my son makes whining noises when he falls asleep, so that's what those little sounds are. Um, he is pretty much asleep. Um, anyways, look at these. <laughs> um, these are so shimmery. And like super sleek. Now I've heard that they are these kinds of threads are really hard to cross stitch with. Um, so this is definitely something that once I get the hang of cross stitch a little bit more, I will jump into trying this. Um, they just seem, you know, more prone to breaking, getting tangled up. But look at that! It's so pretty. Ah, they're so shiny. They're just like, yeah. Um, so here's more of the colors. They are just gorgeous. Look at those. I love like all the golds and the reds that were in this particular cross stitch. Um, yeah, just so pretty. <laughs> I like, and they feel really cool too. I can't stop looking at them. They're just like, oh, 
all of these colors and those blues i wish there were more of these peacocky blues in it but um it's got a decent amount for the peacock um looking at the picture like all of this that's gonna be so pretty um and i wanted to get these with the silk just because of how like rich this picture was um, so, on to the actual cross stitch. This is big. So this is how wide it is. Fills up the whole screen. <laughs> um, and then lengthwise, wow. Um, so we have another needle two needles right here that's nice because this canvas is really stiff and it beats up the needles oh my gosh okay i <laughs> so this is the bottom part of the peacock as you can see it's just like chaotic looking just because um the symbols on the canvas look way different because the more contrast that you have the easier it is to um, distinguish between colors and symbols. Um, okay, so here we have the beginning of the peacock. And these circles right here are when there's big blocks of color. Um, it just like helps you visually say, okay, that's this number, instead of having to go over to the code and look at it. Um, yeah, these symbols... Uh, very nice there's nothing that's screaming too close to each other but let's look at the chart symbol chart okay sorry about the jiggle so there's the actual peacock head right here and it's got like this so 47 is like this off-white color for the yellow just to kind of show the contrast and the stamped image, stamped code, will wash out um, once you're finished. You just soak it in water. Um, yeah, and the grid lines help if you need to reference a certain area, like if you have a lot of confetti or an area where there's similar looking, um, what's the word? symbols <laughs> like right in here um there's pluses but there's also x's so if that's going to be confusing um you can reference the chart and kind of count where the stitches are going uh let's pull this to the side a little bit so you can see this code so here's all 47 colors um now this, uh, another reason this is nice is you can reference the DMCs here because sometimes on the code here it's like really kind of faded or faint looking like some of these you would really have to squint like those little tiny blue check marks next to these ones with the blue square in it right here now on the actual canvas that square is very obvious and the check marks are obvious but on the code um you have to be a little squinty plus oh my goodness okay so we have blue slashes going this way and blue slashes going this way that's going to be really confusing um yeah this one is going to take a really long time to do oh my goodness but is it gonna be worth it I think so so pretty there's the image again and yeah I'm really excited to eventually get to this one it is really big let me hold it up to myself just uh, yeah so It's about four feet tall, 
maybe. So yeah, that's really long. <laughs> so four feet. That's probably four and a half ish. Um, because it comes up to almost my chin. Yeah. So it's definitely big. It's gonna be a big project, but um yeah, I hope this video was helpful for anybody who is looking for a new printed cross stitch or for a new hobby. Um, this is definitely a fun way to get into cross stitch and kind of get a feel for how it works a little bit without having to do all the counting. Uh, anyways, thank you so much for watching.